Imagine a world where plastic bags and bottles aren't clogging up our oceans and landfills, but instead are being transformed into brand new, recycled plastics. Sounds like a fantasy, right? Well, thanks to a game-changing new chemical process, this reality might not be too far off. Researchers have discovered a way to vaporize the two most common types of plastic waste, polyethylene and polypropylene, and turn them into hydrocarbon building blocks for new plastics. This breakthrough could be the key to a more circular economy for plastics and a significant reduction in waste. So how does it work? The process uses inexpensive solid catalysts such as sodium on alumina and tungsten oxide on silica to break down the plastics into gases. These gases, propylene and isobotylene, can then be used to make new plastics, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. The best part? The process is efficient and can be scaled up for industrial production. This means that it could have a significant impact on the amount of plastic waste that ends up in our oceans and landfills. The statistics are staggering. Polyethylene and polypropylene plastics make up about two-thirds of post-consumer plastic waste worldwide. But currently, about 80% of these plastics end up in landfills, are incinerated, or become microplastics in our waterways. The remaining 20% is recycled, but often into low-value plastics like decking materials and flower pots. This new process could change all that by allowing us to recycle these plastics into high quality, reusable materials. The potential benefits of this process are huge. Not only could it help reduce the amount of plastic waste in our environment, but it could also create a more sustainable plastic economy. Imagine being able to recycle your plastic water bottle into a new identical bottle. It's a closed loop system that could significantly reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and lower greenhouse gas emissions. The researchers behind this breakthrough are set to publish their findings in the journal Science, and the work was funded by the Department of Energy. This is just the beginning of an exciting new chapter in plastic recycling, and we can't wait to see where it takes us. So what does the future hold for plastic waste? With this new process, it's possible that one day we'll be able to recycle all of our plastic waste rather than sending it to landfills or oceans. It's a bold vision, but one that's definitely worth striving for. As consumers, we can all play a role in reducing plastic waste by recycling, reusing, and choosing products with minimal packaging. But with this new technology, the possibilities are endless.